All right, all right, welcome back. It's Sunday, January 14th. It's about 6.30 in the evening. And a uh, little bonus video, shop talk on Sunday because tomorrow's a holiday. Tomorrow's a holiday, it's MLK Day. So why not have a, have a drink on Sunday? Sure. So uh, some of the comments on the shop talk, one, one in particular, or I, I forgot who it was. I'm, I apologize, I forgot who it was, but it kind of turned into a whole conversation with a few different... Uh, responses about uh i think his i think his comment was kind of about about planning or 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 planning oh, the build or financially being, planning or setting goals being successful being successful at and, your build at your build and setting small goals and accomplishing those goals would not be possible if you did not have a supportive spouse well that's what i said my my response was you know a lot a, a big factor major factor is that that usually goes unmentioned is a, a support a supportive spouse and uh <laughs> so you know we're gonna do a little video here real quick to talk about some of the stuff that goes on behind the videos behind the scenes about putting these cars together man because we're gonna do that i need more alcohol <laughs> <laughs> uh i think first off what needs to be understood is is that these cars are a could be a huge a financial obligation okay yeah. Yeah. and and your pockets dictate unfortunately what you can do, what you can do yeah. or what you can achieve um, at the present time just because you can't achieve it now doesn't mean that it's out of reach it just means that you got to work small towards that goal you can't do it overnight right. um, so that needs to be understood first is it's a financial obligation uh, and I think you got to put a you got a budget you got to you got to budget the car if you want the car done well first off you need to understand it do you want the car done or not if you want the car done, then you need to work that into the budget. Just like groceries, just like gas, just like car insurance, just like rent or mortgage, just like light bill. Well, I think before you can even get to that point, you gotta be on the same page with your spouse or significant other if you're sharing bills and stuff like that. Like, first of all, before you can even get to the budget, you gotta be on the same page and have the same goals. Mm -hmm. like have your goals aligned with you know what you're trying to do here communication i think communication is key having goals um you know to look forward to and and something to work on you know together or separately or however you work it out but you got to be on the same page you can't <clears throat> you can't plan and then plan by yourself and expect it to be okay like the, the spouse has have to be aligned and I think that's what makes the budget work is if your spouse you know allows room in the budget for that or you know you allow room for that in your budget you know you got you got to be on the same page hmm. right do you agree yeah I mean the the so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what's that no I mean so yeah no like uh, well, let me piggyback off of that. Okay. So, with that being on the same page, I think a lot of times, you know, some of the guys out there have trouble getting the spouse on board. Keeping okay. the spouse on board, right? We talked about that. Sure. GoPro been cutting off today, but we're back. We're back. So. So, I think, you know, part of that is, um, goes back to communication, I think. Sometimes, you know, the vision is not explained thoroughly to the spouse. And the spouse thinks this is a joke. That this ain't never going to make no money. This is just a losing game here. That you're just, you know, spending your money unnecessarily. You spend or, how much on this shit box? Yes. Okay. Because that's what I say every time we update <laughs> the budget. Okay. <laughs> No, yeah. I'm like, what is this and why is it so much? Sure. But 
I mean, you know, I think part of that goes back to communication. You got to understand the big picture. If you're having trouble with your spouse, maybe it's miscommunication. Maybe they don't understand where you're coming from, your viewpoint. I think maybe having that conversation and saying, you know, like, look, I'm building this car and, you know, my vision is I build this car, drive it around for a little bit and then sell it for more money and make some money. It's going to be a long term thing. It's not going to be a short term thing, but that is the vision. And, and, you know, see if you can't get on board and on the same page with them about that. And I think those are some of the conversations we've had because i sure as hell didn't see that vision mm. i was like you want to do what spend how much what yeah <laughs> like i just didn't see it and then you know we did some homework online you showed me some pictures you broke it down for me we sat down and we talked and then i was like okay maybe 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 all right <laughs> yeah. okay well, let's see so and you know that only sweetened the deal when you know you started being able to do everything yourself yeah the key is to be able to do it yourself man which is the whole point of the channel that's the only way you're really going to turn a profit yeah. on low riding is do it yourself yeah you're not going to turn a profit taking it from shop to shop that's yeah. i mean you might you might have you might end up with the car that you want but it's Financially, you're upside down. Yeah. The only way you're going to turn a profit is do it yourself. But, uh, you know, I mean, the the having a budget set aside for the car, I mean, you know, you like you said, you have your budget, you got your grocery budget, you got your, your rent or your mortgage, your light bill, your car insurance, your daycare, boom, 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 your savings, your retirement, hopefully, this, that, and the other. Yeah. The car falls somewhere down the line somewhere. But, you know, it's, it's not a priority, but you got to account for it. Yeah. If you want to, if you actually want to see that car done. Oh, yeah. Um, otherwise, you're just dreaming. You're yeah. dreaming. And, uh, sure. you know, it's kind of like, like I said in the other, in the other shop talk, it, it's kind of like having another kid, man. I it mean, <laughs> you got to pay for it. You got to give it a place to stay. Uh, you got to put money in it. So, you know, you got to give it attention. You got to give it time. Yeah. Uh, it's it's part of the budget, you know, if you want it to. So, you know, I mean, I've, I've known a, a couple guys that, you know, have gotten divorced over this stuff, man. Like, unfortunately, you know, um, and, and I don't understand, you know, why, because... If it works and it makes money, then what's wrong with that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. To me, I kind of treat these cars as like a savings account, essentially. Yeah. I mean, you got money sitting here. In fact, sometimes I think, depending on the car, it's better than a savings account mm -hmm. because it's money sitting. It's money sitting in the bank. If you got, you know, a few, a handful of car, a handful of uh, Impalas, convertibles, sixty-one. You know, 58, 59, 60, 61, 64, 60, you know, uh, that's money in the bank. Yeah. You can unload it tomorrow if need be or, you know, within a week and maybe turn a profit. Uh, could be a better return than any bank's going to offer you. Yeah. And the bonus is you get to enjoy it. You can't enjoy $70,000 sitting in a in the bank and the bank brings that hole in your pocket you can't enjoy that they they're enjoying it in yeah. fact the bank is enjoying it because they're investing with your money and throwing you a a bone in return yeah but if you have something you know it could be a car it could be a a, a, a beach house or you know whatever hey you can go enjoy that and you get paid but you know none of that works without having a supportive spouse sure spouse gotta be on board and man. that's being on board as far as you know how much money's being spent but also you know being on board with you know the time that it takes to build these things time is know? a factor also time is a factor and also you know uh, having a dual household income huge factor is a huge factor you know we're fortunate enough to have that so that you know it's just a bonus for us but you know some people don't have that yeah 
And that doesn't mean it can't happen. That just means it's going to take a little longer. I think that, you know, like, uh, you know. But you got to have your spouse on board. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, you know, low riding or is is mainly, I, I would say, like 95% men, 5% women. Yeah. So the issue is always a man complaining how the woman ain't down. Yeah. Okay. Do you complain about it? No, but that's usually a complaint. Like, oh, the old lady don't want me to spend the money. Yeah. You know, yeah. or, or yeah. you know, I got to yeah. let me ask the old lady if I can buy this, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but at the same time. If the women are probably doing the budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually. Um, yeah, at the same time, man, you know, you also got to, you got to step back. Like she said, time is a factor too, yeah. man. So, you know, hey, man, you know, pick a day during the week and this is my day and I'm going to do this. And then on another day, hey, we're doing what you want to do. Well, that too also becomes an issue is time being spent away from the family. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, you know, you got to have a healthy balance. Mm -hmm. You have to find a happy medium that works for you and your family. You know, if you have kids or, you know, wife or husband or whatever, like you got to make time for that too. You can't just be all about the car because then that's oh, where yeah. things start going wrong. You right. want to just spend all your time with your car and you leave no time for family well it's what, like it's what did like, you think was gonna happen it's like when you barbecue uh let's say you're gonna barbecue some chicken and you got six pieces of chicken you can't put all the seasoning on one piece no nope. i put a little bit of seasoning on every on every piece so every piece tastes good and it's happy yeah you put it all on one piece the other pieces ain't getting the same love that that one piece is getting and eventually you're gonna find yourself with that only one piece and the other piece is gonna be gone yeah yeah I mean that you know time time spent away you know is a huge factor you know like what we do sure tell sure. the people what we do <laughs> tell the people uh, Saturday is his days <laughs> in the shop like I mean she understands that I mean not every Saturday but the majority a large majority yeah, of the Saturdays more Saturdays than not <laughs> sure 90% uh, of the Saturdays we're spending out here in the shop making videos working on cars and then usually sun you know sundays lazy days or whatever uh, fridays you know try and go get something to eat or something together or something and then you know the rest of the days monday through thursday is kind of working working folk stuff you know like go to work yeah, come sometimes home, eat. you come out here and work on your car sometimes. but i'm usually you know, i usually wrap it up on uh about the time i'm coming home right <laughs> about the time she's coming home so i get i get home early about 2 30. she gets home about six so i got me three hours to come out here and mess around you know and 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 i know when hey when she comes home on the, during the week you know it's time for me to go inside yeah like i think that's another thing that's maybe hard for some men to grasp is sure knowing when uh to go inside <laughs> right and it could be like you or know, knowing I could be when out to come here, home. Sure, or knowing when to come home. I mean, yeah, that's a whole different. Because you know, some guys are out working somewhere, at, uh, you know, at somebody's house on their car, or working, you know, at a shop on their car. Or, yeah. You know, they're not always working at home in their garage. So. You but know, I, I it, think uh, if if basically sum it up. Ten minute. Uh, there's key factors. Key factors, man. I think communication is the biggest one. And if if you if your spouse ain't on board with what you're trying to do, then unfortunately it 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 probably ain't gonna work unless you compromise. Unless you give up what you want to do. Yeah. You shouldn't have to give up what you want to do, and neither should your spouse. Yeah. So let's meet in the middle. Yeah. And say, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna work on my car on day day day. Well, and that's kind of how we've done it. Is you know yeah. saturday is your day to work on your car and that's my day to do whatever i want to do run errands yeah. hang out do whatever go to the mall you know like do whatever you know yeah um and and sundays we meet in the middle and during the week you know you go work on your car till i come home and then we meet in the middle and sure. then you know just having a balance you know that balance that's the key it's, it's having a balance of both um sure. to where it doesn't conflict and and cause problems i think that's so could you imagine a scenario where 
I can't imagine a scenario. I'm sure it exists, but can you imagine a scenario where the roles are reversed and the woman wants to the woman wants to work on the car in the garage and the man says, "No, I want you to come inside <laughs> and watch watch TV with me on the couch." Do you <laughs> think that would, happens? I don't know. That would be very weird. I just I don't see that. It could. It could, but or I was, it I could be, it. hey man, you know the woman works too much and is never home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so, but for, as far as, like, low riding, it's 95% men, yeah, 5% like, women. But <laughs> imagine the roles reversed. That'd be crazy. That would be weird. <laughs> yeah. Getting your spouse on board is key. Mis you know, miscommunication and communication period is important. Um, those are the things that work for us. Sure. We've been doing this a while. Yeah, about 15 years about 15 years been together about 15 years um but i, I think i mean it, it it's it's actually i mean <clears throat> to me it's actually pretty simple if your spouse that you if the woman that you pick don't support the stuff you do then why'd you pick her yeah that's touchy <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You got to really do some soul searching because that's yeah. that's always going to be a problem if this is always what you're going to want to do. Right. And if, you, if and she ain't if on board. And if she's not on board and not willing to budge, then yeah. Now, there's, there's, there's some times where it can get excessive. Let's just say that, that I mean, because this stuff is, is expensive, man. The cars are expensive. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it's not uncommon to spend at least a thousand dollars a month. Um, so, but it could, you know, that's what I'm saying. It, it you got to look at how much you make combined if you share accounts or whatever, and and then take you know take a percentage and say, okay, this is what we're going to do for this, 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 and this, and this. I mean, if you make five thousand dollars a month you know like it doesn't you're if you you, were, got, you gotta just budget your money man you, you gotta, can't you can't spend forty eight hundred dollars on your car and expect everything to be all good in the house yeah no <laughs> no that's yeah if you make five thousand dollars a month man you know maybe maybe a thousand maybe a thousand reasonable. maybe a thousand yeah but you can't go spend forty eight hundred dollars and have two hundred dollars left and wonder why your old lady is upset <laughs> Then ain't, you ain't you're gonna lose. Yeah. You're gonna lose, and you should lose because that's wrong. Yeah. You should lose. Yeah. You should lose. Make five thousand, spend a thousand on the car, and the and the other four goes to the family. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Now it's gonna take you a long time to build a car, but hey, man, it's not a. It's not a. It's, not a, it's not a. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Yeah. Having a supportive spouse, key word of the day. <laughs> yeah, man, you, you, you got to pick one. You got to, you got to, you got to pick one who supports you. If, if, if the spouse don't support you, and it could go the same way for a woman uh, looking for a man that supports her. I mean, everybody likes to be supported. You know, like you like to have reinforcement to know that somebody has your back. Yeah. So. You know, sometimes. Uh, How do you sleep at night? Me? When I open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, but what what I just you know what I wanted to say was that uh, a uh, a lot of guys don't give props to their spouse, man. They don't give props to their spouse for some reason, and and really, uh, the spouse does a lot of the behind the scenes type stuff. Uh, oh yeah. And about that. you know, and nobody wants to talk about that, man. And and I've always said, man, uh, you know that that goes unmentioned. You know. Uh, yeah, it does. You know, I remember one time, uh, story time, story time, mm -hmm. just to wrap it up. And uh, so I don't know if I ever told you a story, but uh, one time I was coming out of work. And uh, I work in a place that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there's not a lot of free people, if you know what I mean. 
and uh, I was walking out the parking lot, man, with the chaplain. And uh, we was talking or whatever, and, and, you know, he really, we had a good conversation from walking out to our vehicles. And he, he asked me, uh, you know, you know why most of these dudes are locked up? And I, my first response was, you know, because they can't follow the law. You know what I mean? And he said, no, because they don't know how to choose a good woman. No, oh God. Okay. And I was like, good answer. That's deep. Yeah. That, yeah. And I was like. He's like, man, if they would have chose a good woman, they wouldn't be here. <laughs> They'd have been at the house yeah. with that good woman. Yeah. And I was like, man, chap, that's real. You know what I mean? And ever since I remember that conversation and I was like, man, that's too bad. You can't broadcast that on the news Yeah. because that would change a lot of people's mind about stuff that's going on. But that's all, you know, that's a whole nother rant. <laughs> but uh, the point of the story is that you gotta choose a good spouse. You gotta choose a good woman. You gotta choose a good man. Something, somebody who supports what you're trying to do, and you you support them what they're trying to do, and 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 together you guys you know can grow and support each other, and boom, 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 and off to big things. Okay. Yeah, you agree? Yeah. Takes two people. Yeah. Takes two people, man. Unless you're solo. I mean, that's you know you that's one approach. You still need a budget, though. You still got, you still got a budget. Yeah, you can't you can't make five thousand and go spend forty eight hundred on the car if you live by yourself, because you're gonna be homeless. You're gonna be broke. Yeah, you still got a budget. So I think budgeting. Uh, yeah, budgeting. Communication. And you know, choosing a spouse that shares your interests and. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty simple. When you yeah. think about it, it's pretty simple. Anything else you want to add? So that was the spouse uh, shop talk episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all stay tuned for more. Bring you guys back. <laughs>